there's only one question that matters right now. What would you do? What would you do? What would you do is my favorite show to talk about on this channel. I love it. It's fun, we can make plenty of jokes, we can have a good time watching it. it, it's it's great. And it doesn't kill me from within. For instance, Blind Date, one of the worst shows I've ever seen in my life. I had to watch it three, maybe even four times in the process of making my video for it. Now don't let that stop you from watching my video, okay? Let my suffering mean something. So yeah, today we're gonna watch What Would You Do? Now the reason we are watching this is because I completely, by myself, on my own volition, decided I would watch this. And I don't care what their print in the papers are, right? it wasn't because I was begging and pleading my friend Joe to give me an idea to make a video on because I had already said I was going to make a video by Friday and it's Thursday night and I'm sweaty from cooking my roast. That is not what happened. All me, baby. All me. Now, one of the good things about What Would You Do is it doesn't take long to find a gold mine. And the one that I found for you guys today is parents blame kid for their divorce what would you do? Just like any what would you do episode, I would probably not do anything. I would just eat my food quietly and mind my own business. But I guess that's not how things go down in New Jersey where all these are filmed. New Jersey folk, eh, they're just a different breed. They say what they think. I think. I don't know. This show is my only look into the lives of New Jerseyans. Without further ado, let's just hop right in. Do you want to start this off or should I? Sure. Ashton, Daddy and I have some bad news. Your mother and I, well, our relationship is on the rocks. Wait, what? First off, I love that they're breaking this news in a restaurant. That on paper and in practice is the best way to deliver the news that you're getting a divorce. Now me personally, I found out my parents were getting a divorce when I was seven. We just went bowling, had a blast, came home, then the news was broken. Surprisingly, I didn't give a shit. Maybe it was the bowling. They knew how to fucking get me. But I'm so glad that it didn't happen in the middle of a Buffalo Wild Wings. Well, honey, there's no right way to say this. Sweetie, we're getting a divorce. Divorce? Oh my God. Is this because of me? Uh, well, no. Let's just say that becoming parents didn't help our marriage. No, it did not. Divorce. It's never easy talking to your children about it, but blaming them or each other, say the experts, are some of the worst things you can do. No shit. <laughs> You're at a restaurant when you see a couple doing exactly that and in the process hurting their child. What would you do? So this is all my fault. All my fault. All my fault. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. This is all my fault. It's all my fault. I haven't fed my fucking gerbil in three days. Oh, I think I just shit my fucking pants. We have bad news to tell you, and I don't... I don't know the right way to say it. I do. Somewhere at home. Literally anywhere other than here. Oh no. Oh no, the gerbil's dead, isn't he? No, we... What? This couple sitting at the next table already seemed to sense that Tracy and Tyler's relationship is on the rocks. Do you want to say it or do you want me to say it? Well, I mean... So then let me say it. I don't understand why you okay, just Okay, go ahead and say it. Say it. Say it. Say it. Just fucking say it. Fuck. We're getting a divorce. Divorce? And now they have a ringside seat to an increasingly ugly family ordeal. What an awful first date. <laughs> like, just imagine, you're already fucking nervous, and then you sit down, and you've got ringside seats to this shit show. He has a mistress. Oh, He's having on. an affair. So we're getting a divorce. What about our family? We don't have a family. <laughs> the dramatic ass fucking writing. We don't have a family, sweetie. We are no more. Can you guys hear us? We're trying to be loud enough for you to hear us, but we're not trying to be too fucking obvious about it. Hey, sweetie, we don't have a family anymore. Ashton. It's just you and me. Hey, hey, come on. Hey. Fuck you. <laughs> As our parents battle, they exchange looks. Well, thank you for ruining your child's life. That's all I want to say, okay? You're the one that's caused this whole problem. Oh, come you, this on. Whole thing. And when we tell Tyler and Tracy to leave the table, this is all my fault. They remain silent. Honestly, I probably, I might too. <laughs> like, it sounds shitty, but like, I can't see myself getting up and interjecting myself in someone's life, even a fucking kid. This is all my fault. Where's the fucking check? But when Tracy is alone at the table, Meredith Zebro speaks up. I'm sorry, I have to go through yeah. that. I mean, we're doing this right, aren't we? Your son is the one that matters most to me. My cousin went through the same thing, but like, their son was the most important thing. Like, we would see them argue, but it wasn't like they would let us see them, like, get really mad. Like, they would step away. 
And that's when we step in. Hi, how are you? I'm John Quinones. <laughs> Shit, it's Quinones. I've been saying Quinones like a fucking dweeb. And these next two dads agree. You need to stress to him that daddy loves him. Oh, this is good. This is good. What do you recommend I, I tell my son about the divorce? Uh, not everything you've been fucking telling him. How about that for a start? Throughout the day, a lot of people chose the hands-off approach to our divorcing parents who were breaking it so badly to their son. It's not easy being married and having a kid. No, what? it's not. I thought you liked me. We love you, but we do not like you, okay? You smell like you just shit yourself. As a matter of fact, you can keep this. Cheap ass ring. This dad actually moves to another table. I went through a divorce myself, so I felt very bad for that child. I went through a divorce myself, so I felt very bad for that child, and I, I didn't want to fucking hear it. It was just really giving me the heebie-jeebies. I look forward to one day a week, and that's when I can eat my sausage omelet, and I'm not gonna fucking listen to that little kid piss and moan while I have my fucking omelet. And so does this mother of two. Don't lie to him. You it's, told me not to lie to him. I'm not lying to him. It's a, it's not a group effort. Of course you want there to be mutual trust between you and your child. You don't want to lie to him. That That's a good way to go about life. But maybe bringing up that his dad is a cheating pig isn't the best thing to do right after the divorce announcement. Just add that to the laundry list of ways they're fucking this up. We're getting a divorce, your dad and I. Divorce? Divorce. What? Hey, 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 it's a divorce? not- Divorce? Yes. Yeah, how many times do we have to fucking say it? Christ. I... Each one of them, a child of divorce. This is not the end of the world, okay? It is the end of the they world. Hate. End of the world may be a little bit dramatic. When everyone thought the world was going to end in 2012, nobody said on the list of things that was going to happen to the planet that everybody would get two Christmases, okay? So maybe just fucking halt it. When the parents walk away, leaving their heartbroken son alone. Ah, yes, one last car fuck before you split. Michael Windicott swoops in to comfort Ashton. Fantastic. The UFC fighter with a weird fucking name is going to comfort the child. It's not your fault. He just walks up to the fucking kid. Hey, 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 bud. Um, what did you do? This really seems like it's your fault. Like, like they really are hammering that in. You must have done some fucked up shit. You didn't, uh... You didn't forget to feed your gerbil, did you? That's pretty fucked up. There's nothing you could have done that could have changed what happened. That's your parents' decision. This happened to me when I was five years old. This dude knows he's on What Would You Do because he is flexing those tries. But you'll get through it, though. But it's not your fault, though. You gotta realize that. Okay? This kid is not prepared for this guy to come up and talk to him. <sighs> shit, 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 I don't have any fucking lines for this. One of the friends gets up to go look for Ashton's parents. Oh, he's just gonna go rough the parents up for a few minutes, that's it. He said he's upset and he thinks it's his fault. Well, it kind of is his fault. Mother, why? Well, maybe you should mind your own business. I don't it's understand none of our business, you're screaming those people down there hear you! Okay. That waiter in the back is over this shit. Fuck, I shouldn't have taken Ryan's shift on the what would you do day. <gasps> I didn't notice this when I first watched it, but whatever noise that lady made, I don't even have a joke for it. I just, I want to bring it to attention. <laughs> oh I apologize. I'm sorry. It's a it's tough totally time fine. that we're going through. Don't make him feel like it's his fault because it's not. Well, I'm not trying to make it really feel like well, his fault. Well, then you're going about it the wrong way. Yes, they're doing it the wrong way, but luckily it's for what would you do? Ah! I do it! I love the reality show music that they play when John Canonis comes out with everyone. It's like they ripped the music straight from Extreme Makeover Home Edition when they moved the fucking bus. You went through it? Yeah, that exact thing happened to me. Yeah, in a diner with cameras. It was fucking insane. I went through the same thing, divorce. I was probably 13 or 12. I can't believe this is happening. This is incredible. We're getting paid for this, right? My parents got divorced when I was 11 years old. My parents split up when I was like five. You were amazing. You went over to the little boy. I really didn't know what to say. I just tried to like calm him down and make sure that he knows it wasn't his fault. Oh yeah, he didn't know what to say either. That's why he didn't say anything. <laughs> Your message to people who see this sort of thing? Never blame anything. Why? Because the kids always feel like it's their fault. And it's not. And just like that, John Canonis is saving the world, one ruined lunch after another. Well, just New Jersey, I guess. I wonder why it is that they choose New Jersey. Because I know To Catch a Predator kind of just stays in fucking Connecticut, which I think is because the laws are a lot stricter for that kind of thing there. And New Jersey, maybe people speak their fucking mind more, I don't know. Whatever it is, I'm glad it exists. And I'm glad you guys were able to come on this journey with me. 
As always, if you guys enjoyed the video, give it a like rating down below. It lets me know you enjoyed it, and it helps out the channel a lot. If you have any thoughts, ideas, opinions, or really anything at all, leave them in the comment section down below. I will read them. And if you're new here and you enjoy the content, consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you can stay up to date on all of my uploads. Oh, and also, if you guys do have notifications on, you have been noticing you've not been getting your notifications, check to make sure you have the YouTube app with notifications on on your phone. And also check the bell. Make sure you have all notifications. YouTube has like two different sets of notifications. I don't fucking get it. I just say that because I know some of you guys have been saying you're not getting notified, which is unacceptable. Anyways, thank you guys again for watching and I will see you next time. Goodbye.